Hey guys, welcome back to the Vintage Halloween. <sighs> so today, for our video today, I thought it'd be really fun to sort of do my first Halloween haul of 2023. Oh, the first Halloween haul. Um, I haven't bought too much stuff. I'm really not planning to buy that much stuff this year, but I thought it'd be fun to just show you guys what I have got. Um, yeah, so that's going to be our video for today. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Laura. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm a big Halloween enthusiast. I love Halloween. I decorate for Halloween year-round here in my office, and I'm also on Instagram under the Halloween Collector and Halloween Hill Studio for my art. And I'm, I have an Etsy shop where I sell my like paintings and prints, all Halloween-related, called Halloween Hill Studio as well. <sighs> okay, we're going into it. So... This year I've really decided I don't want to buy a lot of stuff, mostly because I already have like way too much stuff already. Um, but I do want to buy things that like really speak to me or I feel like really are something I really want to focus on collecting this year. And that is just, you know, whatever I find I love and also sort of miniatures. I really want to expand my Calico Critter Village. If you've seen that video, um, I'll have that up here as well on my YouTube channel. My whole Calico Critter Village, I want to do like a Halloween haunted house type of thing. So I got some Halloween stuff for that and also one Halloween item. So this is the Halloween item I purchased. I can't resist the cute tea towel. I can't resist. And like, look at this cute, I'll stand up a little bit closer so you guys can see the cute little pattern. I thought it was really, really cute. Also it has just a, a solid orange color in the inside. Um, I thought it was really cute three pack and this was I found this at home goods for like $9.99 so I use tons of these tea towels every day every day so I figured this would be a good purchase just to have because it's adorable okay I also went into Michael's if you saw my um, latest Halloween hunting video I went to Michael's and I found that they didn't have like I think a couple years ago they had a lot of like Halloween miniatures they had like a whole line of Halloween miniatures they didn't have it this year they have the Lemax stuff but I found that that works well certain pieces work well for cow critters because they those are 124 scale cow critters are and I, Lemax is much smaller but some of the things are compatible so the first thing I got I want to update my landscape so I got two spooky autumn trees got the two trees Put those right here two trees and I figure like these um, have a stand that's really good and also they can you can pin the leaves and sort of put them in a different format and work with them and I thought that'd just be a really cool ambiance I have some other trees where they like tend to fall over they don't have a nice base that these have so I thought those would be beautiful um all the stuff's on the ground so I'm gonna be down and get it this piece so I have a haunted house um which I showed in my other video from, it's like, it's Playmobil, but it's like a Scooby-Doo haunted house. And I'll insert that here so you guys can see it. So here is the Playmobil Scooby-Doo haunted house. Um, I'll pull this up closer so you guys can see this. The detail on this thing is redonk. This is awesome. I'll um, turn it around. And show you the back but it has all these interactive features that you would expect from like a scooby-doo house but yeah so it also comes with like scooby-doo figures and like so this um you know this goes flat this comes out it has a trap door behind here like a secret passageway like it has all this really cool stuff it comes with like um, a Daphne, a Fred, and a Scooby, um, which is super cute. And then also this sort of vampire character, um, which is spooky. And then this coffin that projects like images and it's just really cool. Um, yeah, so I thought it'd be really fun to, um, just sort of set this up for my Calico Critters as like a spooky haunted house that they could attend. Um, just look at the detail. The detail in this is so cool. But yeah, so this is the Playmobil Scooby-Doo Haunted House. And if you're not familiar with Playmobil, a lot of these sets you have to build yourself. They have all the pieces in the directions. You just build it. Um, I got this in 2020. It's one of my all-time favorite houses. Um, and it's the perfect scale for Calico Critters. So I thought this would look really cool um, as the Haunted House. Yeah. So yes, highly recommend this set. If you're into miniature houses, um, this is Playmobil, the Scooby-Doo Haunted House. They, they sell it on their website. You can probably find it on Amazon as well. Um, but yeah. And they have other sets too. They have, um, I think like, 
Scooby um, in the Haunted Graveyard, like other sets that you could do. They've had a bunch of different sets um, in the Scooby series, but again, that's the back. And it came with the other furniture. I've dispersed the furniture in my other houses, um, but it, it has a lot of cool stuff that comes with it. So yeah, highly recommend. Oh, the spider fell off. But yeah, so that's the house. So I thought it'd be really fun to decorate that. In my Calico Creole Village, sort of is like a haunted attraction that they can like attend and stuff like that. And this is a sign advertising a haunted house attraction. Um, and this is Lee Max and it lights up. Um, I don't have the battery pack out yet, but the lights light up and it's just, it'd be really, really fun to have that sort of in the town and then they can go up to the haunted house and have this as sort of a scene. So I thought that was so cute. Um, so the 66th annual haunted house, prepare for a scare. Um, how freaking cute is that? So I love that. I saw that. I was like, yes. Um, the next piece I thought just, um, as sort of like an, an, out, an outside accessory, there is this fire pit and it's battery powered. It's like a battery powered miniature fire pit. I thought that would be really, really cute. Just like on the lawn and the cozy fall setting. Cause as you know, my main village is set up for fall year round. So I thought that would be really cute, um, to have that set up. The next one are, of course, a classic that's staple that I have to have. Um, these are just little jack-o'-lantern figurines. I want to faux paint these more realistic style, um, but I thought those would be really cute in my landscape. And it's like five houses. I think this was it says 9.99. I got 25% off of each item because I had a coupon I found online. Always do that when you're at Michael's. There's, they always have a coupon, and it was each item was 25% off. So I saved like probably $25, $25, $30. So that was awesome. So the next thing, what I want to do is I want to do the haunted house attraction. We'll have the sign and everything. And then I want to do a cemetery landscape with like sort of like a haunted wood setting. So I got some mini tombstones. I already have a bunch of mini tombstones I've got before that were Limax from Michael's. Um, and also other ones I found from other, other places, other retail stores. But I want to put these in the cemetery with my other stones. And um, for the backdrop, I thought it would be fun to do, um, I think this is like miniature stone tunnels, like for like a railroad type diorama, but it's two sort of foam core brick facades. I could do like a whole background of a cemetery. Um, I was also thinking I could like paint this dark as like sort of like a tunnel that the ghouls could come out of, you know? La! We could just have fun with it. And then I also bought these little miniature stone walls. So I thought it'd be cute to have that around there. That could be fun. Um, yeah, so I thought this would be cool for the cemetery. And then the last thing I bought is this miniature pergola. Um, this is what it sort of looks like when it's set up, but you just paint it and put it together. It's, it's wood, basic wood. This thing was $5. I thought it'd be cool just, you know, for like an outdoor setting in my village. I could do like this in the town center. I could do like sort of fall activities, like a fall fair in it underneath it. I thought it could be really fun. But yeah, so that is what I've got so far this year. That was my first Halloween haul. It's just miniatures and um, the hand towels. That's all I've got so far. But I want to show you something I got last year. Maybe it was last year or the year before. It was also Liam X, but it's going to work really well with my um, cemetery setup. So I'm going to grab that. It's like right here and let's sit back down. Okay, so I noticed they um, are selling this again this year, um, but it is like the cemetery gates. And then it has these pieces that go on the other side. And I thought this would be cool. It has like a bunch of pieces like this. I think I bought this maybe last year or the year before, um, but then I was thinking this could be cool combined with like this in the background. Let's see if I can hold this up. This in the background, and then all the tombstones in between. And then on either side, I would have the stone wall like on the side <laughs> it's sort of hard to hold this up but like a stone wall like that yeah so that's what I was thinking when I bought the um I'm dropping it all that's what I was thinking when I bought all this stuff because I thought it would look it would work really well with this Lee Max piece that I have um that I have from I think last year and I think I have like this one I have yeah I think it just comes with these three pieces um, but it can like, you can like maneuver it like this or like this. So they can add on to this, but so that's what I bought this year. 
um, just village stuff. And I'm definitely gonna do the scenes and then do another video so you guys can see how it turned out. Um, but yeah, that is my first Halloween haul of 2023. Um, yeah, it's mostly miniatures and some hand towels. So um, yeah, let me know, rate the haul below. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. If you want more year on Halloween fun, you can find me on Instagram under the Halloween Collector and for my artwork, Halloween Hill Studio. And I'm on Etsy as well for Halloween Hill Studio. You can find me there. And um, yeah, we're just gonna keep on spooking, keep on having fun over here. And um, yeah, keep on spooking guys.